Tonight, the Hamilton County Commission on Women and Girls welcomed a new group of ladies to keep their mission alive. WCPO's Marlena Lang reports on what that mission is and the solutions they've found to help make Hamilton County a better place for all. <laughs> Hamilton County Commissioner Denise Driehaus was the first woman elected to the County Board of Commissioners in 2016. She began the Hamilton County Commission on Women and Girls after hearing community concerns when campaigning. I heard a lot from women in particular and girls mm -hmm. who said we don't feel heard at the county, we don't feel like our issues are being addressed. Now the commission is a cycling group of diverse women and girls finding solutions for their own communities. And so what the commission does is from August to May they spend the time identifying what those needs are, doing community interviews to better understand what those needs are. From there, the commission then writes policy for local and even state government to start creating permanent solutions. We were influential in getting a state law passed where every school in the state of Ohio, both private and public, have to have access to free period products in their schools. And one of their newest possible solutions? A girls court which designs more wellness treatments instead of going straight into juvenile detention centers. So it's more like the lawyers are women, the judge is a woman, it's run by women for women. The commission says that the girls court is working in other states and has a 0% recidivism rate. If we can address what those traumas are, or their basic needs, such as um, housing instability or um, mental health support. If we can address those, then ultimately um, we can potentially stop them from coming back. Girls Court is still being designed here in Hamilton County. Mountie says the hope is to have the court up and running by the end of the year. Reporting in Hamilton County, Marlena Lang, WCPO 9 News.